Fluorescence can be beautiful and illuminating, enabling you to see things that would otherwise be hidden. We want to introduce our new line of bright, convenient, single color flashlights available with any of Nightsea's five excitation wavelength options. Let's unbox and take a look at what's inside. Instruction sheet, of course. A note reminding you to actually read the instructions so that you can get the most out of the light's different operating modes. Here's the flashlight, nice and compact and lightweight. This is a removable diffuser cap packaged over the switch end for shipping. Each Excite system comes with the barrier filter glasses that are matched to the excitation source. They are packed in a microfiber cloth that's great for cleaning. Finally, the battery charger and USB charging cord. Let's look at how the flashlight operates. The Excite lights have two power levels plus a special flashing mode. You turn on the light with a full press until you hear a click, then release. The light will come on in low power mode, about half intensity. To change to high intensity, press the switch again, but this time just far enough for the light to go out without clicking, then release. Repeating this action slowly will toggle between the two power levels. If you press the switch without clicking rapidly several times in succession, the light will enter a flashing mode. We're not leaving it in this mode because some people can be hypersensitive to bright flashing lights. The flashing can be useful for detecting fluorescence when you're not in darkness. We explain this on a page on our website and in a separate dedicated video, which you can find embedded in that page and also on the Night Sea YouTube channel. To turn the light off, press the switch all the way until you hear the click and release. Now let's look at the diffuser. Getting strong fluorescence is all about providing high intensity per unit area, so we purposely made the Excite beam very tight. Sometimes you have plenty of signal and want to look at a larger area or want to use the light for photography. So we include a 15 degree diffuser in a cap that slips over the front of the light. The barrier filter glasses are matched to each flashlight. For those who aren't completely familiar with how fluorescence works, the purpose of the glasses is to do a very good job of blocking reflected excitation light and transmitting the fluorescence you want to see. You need the glasses because that reflected excitation will usually be stronger than the fluorescence making it difficult, if not impossible, to see. Take a look at this naturally fluorescent mineral, for example. We'll turn the room light off and turn on the Royal Blue Excite without using the glasses. It looks like blue light on a rock. When we add the glasses in front of the camera lens, we remove the blue light and can now see the striking emission, green from willemite and red from calcite. Different subjects need different excitation wavelengths to make them for us. This table summarizes the available excitation wavelengths and the corresponding filter glasses. Note that there are two different options for filter glasses with the Royal Blue excitation. Long Pass, which will transmit green, yellow, orange, and red fluorescence, and Band Pass, which only transmits green fluorescence. The purpose and use of these two options is explained on the Night Sea website. To remove the battery for charging, unscrew the tail cap. The Excite uses a rechargeable lithium ion battery. If the voltage gets too low, the light will go into a reduced power mode and blink slowly. You should definitely recharge then, but it's not a bad idea to charge the battery after long periods of use. That pretty much covers it. We're excited to be offering these compact, single color flashlights to serve your fluorescence observation needs. Now go out and discover something.